this is my time of year. Halloween, the spookiest, just the spookiest thing you can ever think of. You got your ghosts, your skeletons, your bats, your pumpkins, just everything coming together. It's just too much for me. I had to look so spooky. I, I just think it's so wonderful and magical and surreal and not like the other holidays, you know? It's Halloween. So, in celebration of that, I think I'm gonna do something a little different today. I'm gonna play me some video games. Let's do it. Well, what should I play? <gasps> Simpsons hit and run. Let's do it! Let's play. <laughs> this is not good. Uh, well, am I not playing hit and run because it's broken apparently? Um. So let's play some Dead Rising 3. That sounds pretty fun. That sounds pretty fun. You think it's pretty fun? Oh, I would say that's going to be pretty fun. Luigi's Mansion. Mario Kart? Donkey Kong Tropical Super Mario 3D World? What's the- wait. Super Mario Sunshine. Spider-Man? Just Creed 4? Super Smash Bros. Mario? Let's play movie games and extra people are going to lose it! Tell me at least Galaxy's working. Like, oh, okay, if Galaxy isn't working, I'm probably gonna lose it. I'm probably gonna make, like, a really stupid movie reference, and then you're all gonna regret it. <laughs> so apparently El Dorado is native for great big... No more the show, no more videos ever because my video games stop working. They're all, they're all just obsolete. They've all just been suddenly cursed. Oh, that's spooky. Simon. That's my name. You are correct. You have been cursed. But only when you believe it yourself can I be revealed. I can hear you, but I can't see you. It sounds like you're coming from over here. Are you in the wall? Is that a little man stuck in my wall? You need some water? No! Whoa! Okay! Chill out! I will not chill out! If you want to lift this curse, you must input the correct code by midnight. To find said code, play this game. Yeah, okay, I could do this by midnight. And you will, one, or you shall be forever one, cursed and... One. One. Okay. One. 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 Two. Okay. One. 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 Enough! You're never going to lift the curse if you keep doing that. And I'm fucking sick of it. So I'm taking away the pen until you're actually ready. And in the meantime, again, you can play the fucking game. Christ. Alright, I'm out. Call me when you think you're ready. Well, you heard the Cosmic Kennedy. Let's play this. <laughs> you see, Scooby-Doo has always been weird to me. While I love the spooky nature of the atmosphere that it generally gives off, I'm also generally not very fond of media when it gets formulaic, because it kind of suggests lack of effort, and this show is just about as formulaic as it gets. Yet somehow it's still so lovable, somehow it doesn't feel at all like anybody working on it isn't putting in their all. Somehow it's lasted all these years doing seemingly the same thing again and again. I mean, seriously, it started in 1969 and it's still a current thing? What? How? Literally everyone knows every single episode's exact plot off by heart. I mean, I don't have anything against the show, in fact I wouldn't mind watching some, especially during Halloween. But it's just so fascinating. Why do we love it so much? Well, fuck if I know, but anyway, they made a game out of it. Shocking. Where'd they get the inspiration for this? The wallets? Yes. 
So, okay, what we got going on here? Oh, watch out, there's a green. Where you going? Do your fucking job. Here we are, the whole gang. All right, we're almost there. Like sometimes we think of breakfast or lunch. Yeah, lunch. <laughs> I'm sorry, was that a laugh track? <laughs> what the fu- Again? Now, okay, if you've seen my other garbage, you'll know that Cory in the House for the DS had a laugh track in the game, which was just so fucking bizarre and terrible, but at least it made some sense. I mean, I guess. The original show did have a laugh track, but Scooby-Doo? That's a fucking cartoon! Since when have cartoons had laugh tracks? Who the fuck is laughing at them, the animators? God damn, well, at least tell me the jokes are okay. But it seems the library is full of ghosts. Hello? Ghost? A haunted library? Hmm, interesting. Now this guy over here tells us that some spooky shit's been going down and we gotta go bust some ghosts. But of course, being the people who always work with ghosts, we don't believe him. Is that so? Is amazing. Also, nice arm animation. <laughs> okay, so here we- shit. Okay, let me give some perspective. You know how in the Lego games sometimes you can get in a little car thing and it's neat, but the controls for it kind of sucks, so I don't stick with it for too long? Well, Scoob controls like that. Except it's not neat. It just sucks. But at least we got Shaggy, right? <laughs> no, he controls the exact same. Alright, so cameras are save points, got it. Now let me just- can I- can I save now? Can I- d There we go, alright, I managed to save the game. Looks like I'm starting to lose my cool. <laughs> what? How is that funny? They just got attacked by a supernatural being. There was no punchline. They're just in danger. I don't. What? what? <laughs> how have Corey and this game, for one, even just fucking putting laugh tracks in video games, and two, putting them in the least appropriate places in the games that. For points that just aren't even funny, like... Like... So it's Scoop! No amount of Scooby Snacks is gonna help fix this! <laughs> <laughs> now another thing about this game is you don't have health. You have cool. So if you lose all your cool, you lose. This is like real life. That being said, this game's gonna be a cinch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the cool. Oh, I see. So this is trying to be like a stealth game. Fuck. Okay, so basically these costume things are here to get you back through rooms you've already stealthed through. So when backtracking, you don't have to do it all again. Which is actually a pretty good idea. God, fucking, if you're gonna do stealth, your first priority should probably be control. Actually, AI should probably be your first priority. But second, control for sure. And no, the AI isn't much better. For one, they can go through walls, which doesn't make it easy for you to strategize around. But then again, I wouldn't really call this a strategic game. Or fun. Ah, yes, I see you, Mr. Invisible Shadow Guy. I'm just here to save, thank you. Let me, let me save. I, I, as far as I can tell, these shadow guys seem pretty unavoidable. You can't stealth past them because they always show up in tiny rooms. And so you just have to run and hope you don't take too much damage. That's the best kind of game playing. Ow, my knee! My knee! Oh, well, now we've got a mission where we gotta go find Velma's glasses. Well, isn't that great? Isn't that just so fucking wonderful and happy? And man, I don't know even what I expected. This is bullshit. There seems to be some instructions on how to capture spirits. It says here that if a ghost passes in front of the open Tome of Doom, it will automatically get hooked. Holy shit. Holy shit, this is just Luigi's Mansion! It's just Luigi's Mansion! What?! Well, I guess if you're gonna make a ghost game... That's the one to rip off. Fucking do your right thing! God fucking damn it! You know what's worse? They don't even fucking do it right. You would think it'd be pretty simple to recreate Luigi's Mansion gameplay mechanics. I mean, you flash him with a flashlight, and then you start sucking, and then you gotta pull the opposite direction of the ghost. Simple, right? Well, in this... You just, you aim a book at them, and then when you get them in the sucking mode, you just have to mash a button repeatedly. 
which takes all the strategy out of it. It removes everything instead of keeping you on the edge and thinking, okay, I've got to counteract every single thing he does. You're just mashing a button. Christ. Okay, so I think we're finally done with the music. <laughs> Holy fuck, look at Fred's face. <laughs> That is the saddest fucking thing I've ever heard. I think I need a minute. Oh god, he's still coming. Please stop, please stop. I can't take this. Shut the fuck up, you're breaking my soul! Ah, oh, shit, I gotta say, this is actually kind of good. Like, I'm being conservative with my health and I can't catch ghosts anymore until I get more book juice or whatever, so... Neato. Who the fuck is that? Oh, Shaggy, right. We finally caught the ghost, but he's just a guy. Cause ghosts don't exist. Silly, don't be a goofball. Don't question it either. Oh my god, it's Larry King! So the next episode is on a movie set. Which, honestly, is pretty original for a video game location. And very Scooby-Doo. Hey look, we're astronauts! Let's blast the fuck out of here, Scoob! Oh, look at that moon! <laughs> like, what a blast! Uh, okay. So I wouldn't really call that progress, but, um, I, I guess we could really- So I eventually come across these four levers you have to pull in certain ways to open a drawbridge. And of course, the directions have been printed in random spots around the level. Which means we gotta go backtrack through the entire thing looking for pictures of levers! Yay! So we do that and find it's down, up, down, up. Yeah, good fucking job on that one, security. What's the password to database password? Oh shit, he's got Scoob! Scooby? Scooby! Oh my god, this is actually really cool! That just came out of nowhere, and it's a new form of gameplay that we haven't had yet. It just kind of jumped out of nowhere and slammed me upside the head. Cool! Hey! You know I look good in this! <sighs> well, I can't disagree. Um. Okay, so the camera isn't... Camera? Camera? What are you... Let's go! We gotta get out of here! They only serve breakfast till 10.30! Okay, so to finish up the level, we gotta load the Red Knight into a trap. Classic scoobly doobly. Wait, what? Why the hell is the drawbridge up? Fred, you fucking idiot! God damn it, now we gotta run all the way... Oh, fuck. What? No way! Still? Fred, Jesus, fuck! It's down, up, down, up! It couldn't be much simpler! Why did you mess with it in the first place? Just fuck! <laughs> Now! Okay, finally! So what's going on here? Zabrinsky's been caught. Oh fuck! Alrighty, yeah! Ha! This time for some good old-fashioned Wild West Halloween adventures! So we get to the hotel and just eat a fuck ton. Literally, I'm pit into a competition where I have to eat more than Scoob. God, actually, this is honestly pretty good. I mean, not the concept of an eating competition in a game, but the fact that they drop you in without any hesitation or preparation, and you still immediately know what to do because it's just using game mechanics you've already been introduced to, just in a different way. It surprises you without losing you. That's legitimately good game design. I mean, it's simple so it isn't mind-blowing, but it's cool that the developers can keep you on edge like that, knowing that anything can happen. Like every mystery should be this fulfilling. Check it out, there's some barbecue sauce left. I'll, uh, race you to it, old pal! Raggy? Well, I guess Raggy's just dead now. Follow the mysterious woman. You mean that woman who's just standing around in the hotel minding her own business? Sure, why not? Oh my god, it's a tornado! That's pretty terrifying. Holy fuck! Okay, what costumes are we gonna get this time? Wind resistant cl Whoa, those are not- Oh, jeez, what? Uh, okay, so a lot of this seems pointless. I just need a key to get in the bank, thank you. You found the bacon. I found the bacon. Well, that's just great, but that's not the fucking key, is it? Locked out again. Yeah! Oh, by the night! Oh, okay. Oh, it's alright. That's a lie. Alright, see if this door works. Ah, oh, yes! Oh shit, Fred's finally been caught. Oh, there's a key! There's a key, there's a key, there's a key! Oh 
god, this tornado won't get off my dick again. Fuck! Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, the costumes. It wouldn't make any fucking sense, but they're our only hope. No way. So, according to this game, hurricanes are afraid of pink. Like, look at all these minecarts, Scoob. Oh, this here comes a minecart level. Oh, here comes a minecart level. Oh, Wait, here comes a minecart level. Here we go! I can't believe it. This is fucking terrible. How did they do that? Just when this game started to convince me it might be good, it fucks it all up. And not just that, they did it with a minecart level. That is truly amazing. Alright, let me back up a bit. You know how earlier I praised the developers for bringing in new gameplay but respecting the player's intelligence enough to know that they understood how to play and could do this on their own? Well, with this, all that goes out the fucking window because they give you a seven year long tutorial that is incredibly unforgiving and hazards that are impossible to see and kill you in one hit. So you'd repeatedly get told, remember, if you push left, left is the direction in which you will go. Again and again. And this took so long, I literally thought this was going to be the whole level. I didn't realize there was a tutorial at first. I thought that would be it for at least the minecart section of the level. But then I realized it was only a tutorial and that there was more, God knows how much more, but more, and my patience ran out. I mean, I tried, but there are obstacles you have to press the button to avoid before the obstacle even fucking appears, which pretty much turns this into a memory game. And that's just no fun. Well, screw this. But I still don't know what the hell the code is. <laughs> and you will never have the brains to figure it out, because you're so goddamn stupid, Fred. It's Simon. Wait, what? Fred? No, no, I said Simon! Why the hell is the drawbridge up? Fred, you fucking idiot! God, it's not numbers he's looking for! Jesus fuck, it's down up, down up! It couldn't be much simpler, simpler! I've been looking at it all wrong! It's down, up, down, up! No! <laughs> I did it. You have. Congratulations. Now for level two. You will have to search through this game to find the new code. But be warned, if you thought that was hard, then you are in for quite the This game may be certainly is a short on <laughs> No, 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 no! Damn you, Simon! I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kid! And that fucking bucket! Ah! Looks like I... wet the bed. Hey everybody and happy Halloween! Big ol' super special thank you to my great buddy old pal Pat Strax back. He's a wonderful guy, he did the voice for the cosmic entity who forced me to play the game. What a big asshole, right? So go, go his channel, he's got a video, Halloween video as well, so isn't that just a great big ol' qu quinky dink? I guess it's Halloween, so, you know, it makes sense for Halloween videos to be... Anyway! If you want, you know, like, it really helps out, and, I mean, subscribe if you want to see the video, like, obviously, but, um, even if you don't, like, it's just, help me get seen, which would be pretty hip, but, yeah, um, what a spooky time to be had, although, uh, I can't say it's over. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Respecting the player's intelligence. Okay, not opinion, intelligence. Simon, you crack whore. <laughs> what kind of fucking... Someone's at the door! Dicks! Time for Shaggy. It's like a bloody... Uh. Uh. I can see the light, Scoop! And the Scooby Snacks! Oh, head rush. <laughs>